Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Kerwin Foss first annual telethon, raising funds for the Know Your Rights Camp. And the reason I'm here is because I'm letting Kerwin auction off these, which are coming out in October. And these are Chuck Taylor's 70s. But more importantly, um, they're inspired by the artist David Hammonds, the flag he created in 1990 as an um, artwork, which that flag was inspired by Marcus Garvey, who created the Pan-African flag in 1920. And also it's inspired by the original Chuck Taylor uh, American flag chucks. And then finally, it's inspired by uh, the Liberty Rock in um, Jamaica, Queens, that I used to walk by every day or take the bus pass when I used to go to school back when I was in the hood. And um, it's this rock that these uh, people and um, residents in Jamaica, Queens, and like, I think 69 or the 70s, they um, painted the rock like red, black, and green. And like the city was like, nah, y'all can't do that because it was a World War II plaque on the rock. So everyone in the town, in the neighborhood, because that's back when like Jamaica, Queens was unified before the crack epidemic and all that stuff. And everyone was unified and they fought to keep the rock red, black, and green. So the city was forced to be like, okay, we'll move the plaque somewhere else. And then you guys can keep the, block, the rock red, black, and green. So every day I'm out going to high school, junior high school, I pass by that rock. And then I learned that story and um, it always stuck with me. So it was dope to like, from that, to learn about Marcus Garvey, to learn about David Hammonds, and take all those influences and put them into my first sneaker with Converse. So um, yeah, the sneaker means a lot to me. This one's actually a one of one because the little star is green. On the ones that get released, they're gonna be black. A little nuance, but this is a one off. You know, sample size nine and um, I'm actually like, this is my first sneaker that I put out on my own. So I'm stoked that the first like inclination of it being like sold is to um, raise money for such an amazing cause, the um, know, you, know Your Rights Camp. And then um, such an amazing person like Kerwin who's taking it upon himself to uh, continue this fight for uh, brown people. You know, and it's been over like two months since George Floyd has, um, was murdered. And um, it's beautiful to see that Kerwin and Aaron and Waffle and everyone that's working with them is still fighting this fight and haven't forgotten it, you know? Because um, that's the main thing when things happen, everyone goes crazy about it and then we forget about it. We go back to laughing at memes. So it's nice to see that Kerwin, months and months later, he's still working toward this, towards us. And I know that, you know, I'm pretty sure as long as I'm alive, it'll be a second annual, third annual, fourth annual, fifth annual and I'll always be here. Um, so I'm happy to be a part of the first one. Good luck to everyone who's bidding on the shoes. I hope they raise thousands of dollars for these. And, um, you know, shout out to Colin and his whole team for creating the Know Your Wife's Camp. Educate yourself on that too, because it's not just about raising the money. It's the actual things that they do to help black people, to help people of color. And that's the best thing to do is educate yourself on it. So even if you can't donate on these and bid on these, or even you can't afford to donate a lot of money, educate yourself and spread the word about it or start your own thing. It's probably the best thing you can do. So um, again, I want to thank Kerwin and um, the Know Your Rights Camp for having me and having my, my shoes in here and letting them be auctioned off for a great cause. Um, it's the highest honor. Thank you.